Question 26. 10 coins in a bag, 3 are £1 coins and 7 are 50 pence pieces. We take out 3 coins at random. What's the probability that we take out exactly £2.50? Well, the only way you can get £2.50 um, by taking out 3 coins is to take out 2 £1 coins and 1 50 pence piece. Now you could pull out a pound and a pound and a 50 pence. Or you could pull out one pound and then the 50 pence and then a pound. Or you could pull out the 50 pence first, a pound and then a pound. Okay, um, let's have a look at this one first of all. The probability of pulling out a pound, a pound and a 50 pence. Um, there are three one pound coins, so the probability of picking out a pound coin is three out of 10. Then we have to pull out another pound coin. But if we've got, if we've lost a pound coin, then there's only two pound coins left and if we've taken one coin out then there's only nine coins left and then we've got to pull out a 50 pence piece and there are seven of those but by now there are only eight coins left in the bag and then the next one um, a pound a 50 pence and a pound All right pulling out a pound is three out of ten pulling out a 50 pence piece well there are seven of those and there are nine coins left in the bag and then there are two pounds left and eight coins. Now hopefully what you'll notice is that these fractions are different but it's the same three numerators and the same three denominators and because we're multiplying these all together it doesn't matter what order the numbers are in this is going to give us exactly the same answer as this one and then this one will do the same. So rather than working out this one separately and adding all three together we can just recognize that we've got three lots of this. So the numerators multiplied together, three times two times by seven, six times by seven is 42. The denominators, 10 times nine times eight, nine times eight is 72, times 10 is 720. And we've got three of that, three lots of 42 is 126 over 720.